Hey YouTube, um, wanted to share my thoughts and my comments about the battery life on the Droid Racer. Um, like everybody that owns a 4G phone, of course you're struggling with the battery life. Um, I had a Droid Charge, Samsung Droid Charge, 4G before I got this phone. And I was having so many issues with the signal, so they Verizon accepted to let me do like an early upgrade, and I got this phone. <clears throat> and the Droid Charge was, I think it was like 1600 milliamp battery. This phone is probably like 250 extra milliamp. So I was hoping I was gonna get better battery life. I've been struggling with this phone. I love the phone, I love everything about the phone, but I've been struggling with the battery. Because of my usage, I'm kind of like a heavy user. Um, basically, between you know checking Facebook, checking YouTube, uh, texting, things like that, and doing some calls, um, I get about six hours before my battery is down to 30 percent and to me that's not something reliable at all uh, and it's because of 4g so i uh, when they when i hear uh, last week about the droid race from max i you know i was like wow really excited because of the battery life and i started considering getting the droid race from max and I watched some videos on YouTube, and thanks to the people that posted those videos. Um, so I did some testing and some changes to see if I can extend the battery life. And basically, I'm gonna show you here. I have about 15% battery, you can see it right here. And I'm gonna show you how many hours I've been off the charger. I'm sorry, that's not what I want. Right here. I don't know if you can see it there. It's 15, 18 hours, 18 hours and 21 minutes, 26 seconds off on battery. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. 18 hours um that's a lot a lot of battery life i basically uh, kept using the phone the same way i use it every day and instead of getting six hours i'm getting 18 hours so uh, why or how what i basically did was put the phone in, in 3e and then using this uh, task uh, manager here that comes with the, with the phone. I basically auto kill uh, different apps that they are running in the background without your permission. And also I went ahead and uh, changed the setting for the display and instead of doing the automatic brightness, I just put it to the minimum. And so, yeah, basically, you know, I've been texting uh, for the last, like you already saw, 18 hours, texting a lot, checking YouTube, checking my Facebook, uh, is streaming music using 3G for about hour and a half and talk time probably about two hours and a half since the last time I unplugged the phone the phone from the charger and yes you can make your phone lo the last longer if you do all these changes but 
you know, and I was actually kind of like doing this to give it a try and see if maybe doing this, I will not need to uh, get the droid race from Max and spend the extra money. Well, after all this, my conclusion is this all. Um, if you have to do all this and then, you know, put your phone basically in 3G to make the battery last probably about an extra 60 or 70 percent, um, then what, what, what do you get a 4G phone in the first place though, if you're not going to use it as a 4G phone? So based on this right now, I'm not still not 100% sure that I'm going to get the Droid Retro Max because for one, I love the, the thickness of this phone. I know the other one is not that much thicker, but it's still thicker. And also, I don't want to pay the extra money. However, based on my usage, right now I'm thinking probably 75% off. I'm going to get the Droid Retro Max on. Because if I was, see, I don't, I want to enjoy the technology, you know, if I want to use 4G and I wanted a 4G phone because you want to be, you want to keep up with technology, you know, and all that, and you want to take advantage of the speed of 4G, well, why would you use your phone in 3G? So basically, like I said, yes. You can make the phone last way, way longer if you do these changes. But can you use it as a 3G? Can you access everything using 3G? Of course you can. But then again, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of buying a 4G phone. You want to keep up with the technology, take advantage of the speed of 4G and all that. But then you're going to use the phone as a 3G. So uh, that was just uh, my thoughts and, you know, people that own this phone, I'm sure you can relate to this, the issue with the battery life on the 4G. Makes me think that um, they're going to have to do something with the 4G phones and the battery in the future because... I mean, this is going to be an issue with every 4G phone, and it's basically not reliable, not worth it. Uh, buying a 4G phone and use it in 4G, you know, and then just getting like five or six hours of battery if you're a heavy user. And, you know, the phone has so many things that you can do with it. And... What are you going to do? Not, not do it because you want to save battery? It doesn't make sense. So, so thank you for watching. Um, again, this is a great phone. I love the phone. Super nice. Uh, really good battery if you use it in 3G. Uh, but, you know, if you want to take advantage of it 4G speed, you want to keep up with technology and all that, then I think the Droid Race for Max will be a better optional. So thank you for watching.